Hello everyone, so this time a small tutorial how to set up webhooks. It's a version I just released it. So first thing we have to enable webhooks themselves. So I have downloaded this and changed it to the setting to true. By default it's files because of performance reasons. Okay, next thing we go to live chat configuration and go to webhooks and define a new webhooks. So uh, first we have to enter what event we want to listen to. So according to the sample we can enter just like chat close event and we will have to, to define a bot and trigger. So we go to bots list, we do a new bot, let's call it webhooks. This bot will be only used only for webhooks. So let's save it. Let's go to bots and add a group like default and add another webhook like chat close. Let's save it. And for a moment that's enough for, for us. If we refresh just so we see this and we see default event. We enter chat close and save it. And we see uh, and that's all we need to do in this uh, part. So next thing we have to define a, a trigger itself where we have just template at the moment. So next thing is to define a REST API call which we want to execute on chat close. So we go to REST API calls, we define new call, let's call it webhooks and description web hooks web hooks and cost we enter yeah something like this for example we add a request method name like uh, chat close so we want to send a post method sub url we do not need nothing and in body we want to send it, for example, as plain uh, uh, JSON. And uh, at first, let's send it just as plain text. For example, if we enter something like message clean, it should send all the messages. And we want to send, for example, a chat department ID. For example, a chat department just just a chat department we save yeah. and ba basically that's it if i did everything right so next we go to this uh, bot configuration and we add a response we choose rest api uh, we choose rest api web definition chat close and uh, we do not want to save any message we want, we just want to uh, to send and uh, that's it save so basically it should be that's it so as you see here i have a, i have a, a file defined like this so in this call text uh, uh, file I should see a uh, uh, response so I will open in another window now to just to put its empty so call and yeah it's empty empty file yeah so now we can start the chat for example now uh, let's go like this like Start. Okay. Uh, let's start the chat. Okay, chat was started. Let's write another another message. Third message. Okay, that's it. So now we can go to chat list, for example, and just close this chat so chat was closed and now we should uh, uh, have a call in this file execute let's open 
And yeah, here you see. So we have chat department, and department, as you see in this uh, case, is uh, like all the department uh, object. And we can actually try to improve this uh, method a little bit because it seems we are not seeing the messages for 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 example. So let's update uh, this setting to something like this. So we have another variable as messages all. Uh, it's uh, available in definition of uh, uh, response types. You see, like message uh, message all. You see all chat messages, and we want also department name. Department name also is available just as a place holder. Another fancy thing we can do, we can store also like uh, access like uh, operator ID, for example, or bot ID. Let's say operator ID is, uh, is like RC and user ID. Let's save it. Let's try another chat. Let's and we go to chat list. We accept the chat and just close the chat. And in our call log, we should see something like this. You see, it's perfectly uh, valid JSON format. And basically, that's it. This way, you can do anything you want. You can you can send this uh, this this call as uh, for example as post variables uh, and uh, and so on if you choose like form data and you can enter this value here like like same like lc and id for example so that's it thank you